China. China is stealing intellectual property. China would own our country if Joe Biden got elected. We will never again be at the mercy of China. Today, politicians compete to be anti-China. China? But just 20 years ago, they were so optimistic. China's made great progress in building a new economy. We know a future of greater trade and growth and human dignity is possible. China had suddenly embraced free markets. They got rid of price controls, broke up collective farms, allowed foreign investment, and privatized state-run businesses. China was... Rushing towards the future at breakneck speed. People were so happy to finally see China being set on this path. Melissa Chen reports on China for The Spectator. It lifted hundreds of millions of people out of poverty for the very first time. And then three years ago, something changed. Yep, the rise of Xi Jinping. He cracked down on speech, even jokes. Someone compared him to Winnie the Pooh. They bore a striking resemblance. From then on. Mentioning Winnie the Pooh ends up getting scrubbed from the internet. When the internet first appeared, a lot of us thought it couldn't be censored. China has been trying to crack down on the internet. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> That's sort of like trying to nail Jello to the wall. Well, the Chinese figured out how to nail Jello to the wall. They've built an almost perfectly walled-in internet. China employs a million censors called the 50 Cent Army. The 50 Cent Army is a bunch of online commentators that, is, that are hired by the Chinese Communist Party to basically manipulate public opinion. They block the big international sites and most Western news media. People here generally don't get to see the World Wide Web we see. If you try to, they may barge into your home, threaten your family, restrict your choices. Can't make doctor's appointments. They'll block you from buying a train ticket or a plane ticket. Worse, if you're a Muslim like the Uyghurs, the Chinese will lock you up in re-education camps. Sometimes for years, and their family never hears back from them. But there's not been much reporting on this. Right, um, and that's because China severely restricts the movement of journalists. Some video taken from satellites or drones was posted on Twitter. We see blindfolded people with their heads shaved, their hands tied behind their backs. China says these are vocational training camps. It's what they claim, but satellite images tell a totally different story. And Radio Free Asia says they've now added this really creepy policy. When males of the Uyghurs are sent off to re-education camps, these Han Chinese males licensed by the party would come in and live with the family, sleep in the same bed as the wives. Yet in America, protesters say America is the biggest oppressor. Every genocide and war. This recent New York Times editorial board member asked, is the United States better, worse, or the same as China? This is a difficult question to answer. This equivalence is bonkers. There should be no doubt about the, the moral equivalence between the, the two countries. Because in America. You can criticize Donald Trump and, and hold up a sign in a protest saying, screw Donald Trump, the United States suck. But you cannot do anything remotely similar in China. People in Hong Kong try. Nearly two million marching across the city to voice their anger. Many waving American flags. The Hong Kong people clearly have a hankering for American values. They crave for this freedom that we take for granted. But now they too have been silenced. I wish these American democratic socialists. That is a freaking communist Russian flag. The Soviets would have called them useful idiots. I wish they understood what the Chinese people have learned. Socialism leads to real government oppression. The communists broke our bones, but the Americans broke our hearts. Because while my people were waving the American flag in our streets, begging for freedom, Americans were waving the communist flag in their streets. Why would Americans want this? Why would they be waving these communist flags wanting socialism. We'll never stop fighting for the smell of freedom. What about you, America?